$10,000 a month, every single month from doing nothing, and you have $1.6 million cash to go buy your sweet house in Costa Rica or Hawaii. What's up fruitful investors? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can get rich from single family real estate investing. Now, if you know me or you follow my channel, you know that I love single family real estate. It's my main investment strategy right now. And it's because it's easy, it's boring, it's predictable. The tenant quality is super high and it's the highest quality tenant you're gonna get in long-term real estate. However, single family real estate tends to be a long-term and boring strategy and is definitely not a get rich quick scheme. So if you're looking to get rich quicker in real estate, there are better strategies suited to this like flips, maybe student rentals, maybe multifamily where you flip the building over, but even that takes a bit of time. So single family real estate tends to be more of a longer term strategy and that's because single family tends to really attract the everyday Joe or the amateur investor, someone who can still work a job work a business and have their real estate business in the background or maybe they want to travel the world so their focus isn't really real estate so this is for the really the everyday person however you can definitely push this strategy to the limits and get rich quicker than the example i'm going to show you for example uh, i was a millionaire by age 28 and that took me about six years all done with single family real estate so it's definitely possible to get rich pretty quick but not really as quick as other real estate strategies. However, it's way easier, way more boring, way more autopilot, so you have more of the laptop lifestyle, travel the world, which is why I really like it, because I love to travel the world and do things at my own pace and do real estate whenever I want. So the example I'm gonna show you is a 15-year strategy. So you might be saying, that's way too long, but I'm gonna show you how you can really push this strategy much sooner if you want. So in this example, we're gonna be buying a semi-detached property for $300,000. So, and the cash flow, approximately $200 a month here in Kitchener-Waterloo. So I can find these properties almost every day of the week here in Kitchener-Waterloo. They're not too hard to find and they're pretty available all year long, okay? So like I said, it's a 15 year strategy, but we're gonna be buying 10 of them in 15 years. So not too intense, guys. If you're really serious about real estate investing, you should really be focusing on buying two to three properties a year. This is buying less than one property a year. So like I said, very passive for the person who just wants to do whatever they want, not be obsessed with real estate like I am. This is the perfect strategy for you. So $300,000 for 200 bucks cash a month. And you're probably saying, how the hell am I gonna retire on $200 a month? There's no way I'm able to quit my job with that. Just hold on and I'll show you how this strategy works. So in 15 years, this property will be paid down to $142,000. Okay, so that'd be the mortgage left on the property. In 15 years from now, this property is gonna be worth $625,000. Now how I calculated this is using a 5% a year appreciation rate, which is very conservative, especially here in Kitchener-Waterloo, Canada, where I personally invest. For example, last year we saw an appreciation rate of 25 to 30% in one year. And this year is probably gonna be around 10 to 15% judging by how things are going. So we're not gonna see that every single year. It's unrealistic, it's definitely gonna slow down at some point. However, a 5% appreciation rate per year is very conservative, but averaged out over 25 years here in Kitchener-Waterloo, pretty much about what we're seeing. So it's probably gonna be way more than this in 15 years, but we always wanna be conservative and budget kind of like a worst case scenario. So if we were to sell this property in 15 years, we would walk away with a profit of $483,000 per property, okay? We, we owe the bank 142, it's worth 625, we sell it, we walk away with approximately $483,000. Now I know what you're thinking, if I buy a property in year three, year five, year seven, year 10, it's not gonna be $300,000, it's gonna be more than that, so this number is gonna be a little bit skewed. Yes, you're right, but also I'm not accounting for the forced appreciation. So if you know me and you watch my channel and you watch my flips, you know that when I get a single family rental property, I renovate it from top to bottom, fully decked out, so that it's easy, it's on autopilot, I can attract a great quality tenant, 
I'm not even accounting for the forced appreciation on each of those properties, which could be between 30, 40, 50, 60 thousand dollars on day one that I've added to the property. So I'm not accounting for that at all. Therefore, I'm not accounting for the slight deviation in price that you'll pay later on. And also, I'm making a quick video to show you a bit, so I can't go into huge detail. So I'm just showing you kind of like a blanket strategy. So if we were to sell all 10 properties and each one would give us $483,000, we would have $4.8 million cash, that times 10. Now it's not realistic or a good idea to sell all of our properties and just have all this cash. When you retire, you wanna have some money coming in every single month to fund your lifestyle, whether it's traveling all over the world, living on a beach in Costa Rica or Hawaii like I wanna do, or a laptop lifestyle, whatever, you wanna have some money coming in every single month reoccurring so that you can do whatever you want, when you want. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sell five of the 10 properties, which would give us a profit, let me get the numbers right, $2.4 million, okay? Now, if we wanna buy out five properties, it's 142,000 times five, so it's approximately $710,000 we need, which will leave us with then a profit of $1.6 million. So, so just keep that in mind. We're gonna have $1.6 million cash after paying off five properties. Now we have, we sold five, we kept five, and we paid them all off. So we have five properties, completely paid off, and the rent by then, in 15 years from now, is gonna be $2,500 a month on each single property. So these properties today rent for $1,700. So in 15 years from now, I'm budgeting or predicting they'll be worth around $2,500 a month rent, which is very conservative. There are semi-detached properties right now in the GTA, Milton, Mississauga, which is about an hour outside of Kitchener, already renting for this or more. So 15 years of Kitchener continuing to grow, Google and the, and the tech triangle continuing to grow. It's very realistic that the rents will be much more than 2,500 bucks a month, but I'm being conservative. Again, so if we have 2,500 bucks a month, we have the house paid off, all we have to pay for is property taxes, insurance, and property manager. So I'm, I'm budgeting that after this, we'll have $2,000 a month free and clear from each property if we have five properties, that's $10,000 a month. $10,000 a month, every single month from doing nothing, all your properties are working in the background, the property managers are taking care of them, and you have $1.6 million cash to go buy your sweet house in Costa Rica or Hawaii or wherever you wanna live and live a lifestyle. So that's how you get rich, and the real definition of rich is wealthy. So. Wealthy really means, can you stop working today? If you can stop working today and you have money coming in, so if you have this lifestyle, that is wealthy, that is rich. So if you like this video and you learned anything, please click like right below. And if you wanna get access to my 12 free video series, you can do that by clicking right below. And to be a partner of mine and to have me as your one-on-one -on -one mentor and coach, you can find out about that by clicking right about here. I'll see you in the next video.